Hi, I'm Joe Navarro. Welcome back to my channel. One of the questions that I'm often asked is, why does body language matter so much? Well, it's certainly true that uh, with the show Lie to Me, body language became uh, very popular. But I, I assure you, the interest in body language goes way back. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot of the research began in the 1960s as a result of the presidential debate between Kennedy and Nixon. And the result of that, uh, which uh, was really quite significant, those who read the newspaper thought that Nixon won, but those who watched television thought that Kennedy won. And a lot of that was based on the nonverbals, the body language of Kennedy. He was very young, very smooth, uh, very agreeable. He was, uh, he had a, high likability factor and and all of that is is part of nonverbals but we can go back to darwin the famous uh, author and researcher and keen observer who gave us the uh, the theories of uh, evolution where he later wrote about humans and emotions and our body language and compared it to other species my take on, on body language comes from when I came to the United States as a refugee and I didn't speak English. So for me, the body language that I had seen in Cuba, where I was born, uh, was really very accurate for me in determining something so simple as uh, when I could approach people, were they happy or unhappy? Uh, things like that. And what the research shows us is that around the world, um, there seems to be a universal understanding of, of body language. We certainly know this from early explorers who primarily communicated through hand signals and gestures of, um, you know, I offer you two nails and uh, I receive back. Uh, maybe coconut water or something as simple as that. Um, it's through the, the gestures and so forth. But when we take a deep dive into body language, we realize that number one, we're born without the ability to speak. And for sometimes up to two years, a lot of what we communicate as neonates and as toddlers is really through body language. This uh, exquisite communication that says I'm comfortable or uncomfortable and says I need something, maybe a hug, maybe some food and so forth. So it's our first language. Um, and also, you know, think about how we assess for danger. Uh, when we are at a uh, ATM machine or we're walking down the street uh, and maybe there aren't many lights and we see people approaching and we immediately uh, start to assess what is around us, who potentially uh, could harm us. I mean, every time somebody knocks on the door and you look through that peephole, what you're really looking for is their body language, the nonverbals. Are they wearing a uniform? Are they wearing a uh, hotel um, uh, uniform or outfit and, and, and so forth? These things communicate to us whether we're safe or unsafe. And, uh, and obviously, uh, we survived as a species by being able to observe the world around us and saying, oh, those people walking by are not a threat or the way they're walking towards us maybe presents a threat. The third way that nonverbal communications is, uh, is important is think about how we um, enter into relationships. Uh, whether it be, you know, who we choose to play with and associate with or who we, be, uh, we um, develop as potential future mates, whether we get married or date or so forth, it is really based on nonverbal communications. Um, oftentimes, 
uh, if, if you watch uh, reality TV or you read books, uh, people are sort of mesmerized by, ooh, that man or that woman that walked into the room and how beautiful they look or how attractive they look. Um, a lot of uh, the decisions that we make around the world uh, about mate selection are based on, on looks, appearance, grooming, manners, these are all um, nonverbal. And then think about how we display and demonstrate love, uh, whether we're uh, petting a dog or uh, cuddling with a child. We demonstrate uh, love, we demonstrate uh, how we feel about others through our nonverbals. We don't have to uh, necessarily talk we can squeeze that hand, we can hold the face, we can say many things non-verbally that are also powerful. And lastly, think about um, uh, trust. Trust is demonstrative. Trust is not uh, given automatically. Trust is something that we have to earn through our demonstrations of attentiveness, of care, of com uh, complying with promises, of complying with things that are expected from us. And most of, of what we call trust, we both transmit and receive non-verbally. And this is also universal. So when we talk about non-verbals and their importance and why study them, is because it can help us to understand other people. It can help us to more quickly assess um, what are the needs, wants, desires, fears, or concerns, or the needs of others. And it can help us to communicate more effectively, more quickly. Remember, nonverbals is the only means of communication that works at the speed of light. So I, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, Thank you again for joining me. Please like this, share it with other people, and also please subscribe, and thank you for your time.